you doing? <laughs> Just joking. Alright, give, give him some of the, some of the, some of the magic. Okay. Go ahead. What is up guys? Cam's Kicks here bringing you guys another video. So this is a different type of video. He'll be telling you in a second what it is. Yeah. And I'm pretty excited. I'm filming on the Canon D90. It's my new camera that I just got. It looks they great. This thing is so nice. I've never seen a camera this nice. Yeah, it was, it was pretty expensive. For the whole setup, I think it was about $2,600. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I got like the shotgun microphone, a super wide angle lens, and then so, the camera itself. But It's so nice, dude. Yeah. But anyways, I'm Kyle. I'm an old friend of Cam's uh, from, back from uh, in South Carolina. I almost said SC. But um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just got a couple stories for you guys about you know Cam's uh, and I's childhood. It's going to be a, a pretty good video. Yeah. And yeah, I've known him for about a decade now, like nine years mm. since fifth grade. So. Yeah. We both graduated high school last year. Uh, yeah, I guess let's get right into it. Anyways, yeah, so I've known Cam for pretty much half my life, like you said. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, first time I met him was in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I was I just gotten sent to the principal's office by my teacher, and as I was walking down the hall um, to go talk to him, I forget what his name was, I saw this man decked out in a- Talk to who? The principal. I was walking down the hall, I saw this man decked out in a, just a Batman t-shirt, some cargo shorts, <laughs> you know, like the Nike like so soccer flats. Was that a fire fit back then or was it? I gotta say it was a fire fit. Okay, you, okay. You, you were rocking the, yeah. the Batman tee. Now I got the Supreme Scarface tee on. Crazy, man. Yeah. It's come a long way. Uh, and I'm here to fill you guys in on how old Cam became new Cam because he hasn't always been like this. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so met him back in the hallway. I was like, what are you doing, man? He's like, I just got sent out here by my teacher. I was like, Cool. Wait, so you were going to the principal's office? I was office one of the principal's, right? man. I got in trouble so what did much. You do? Yeah, so he moved into my neighborhood, like in the house, like right across the street from me. And my parents were like, yo, uh, this, this new family's moving in right across the street. Um, we've got a kid your age, so we're going to have him over for our oyster roast. Uh, and yeah, I was like, cool, like, you know, excited to meet him. It's yeah. great to have another kid in the area, because we all played football back in the day. But um, yeah, so we were playing football in the front yard while my parents were cooking dinner in the back. Oh, sorry to cut you off, but I was a pretty, like, pro football player back oh, then, yeah, right? bro. It was insane, man. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, nah, it was but, poor blood. Sports, but... This <laughs> <laughs> story's gonna tell all about it. Yeah. He, um, he came over with his family, and like his family went to the backyard to talk to my parents, and he sat out there. He didn't ask to play football. He just kind of watched us play football. <laughs> and whenever the ball would hit the ground off like an incomplete pass or something, this man would grab the football, take it all the way down the street, and then just put it in someone's mailbox and not bring it back. <laughs> so we were just like, dude, what is this kid? Like, me and the other neighborhood guys. Do you think that was, I thought it was pretty funny. I, I thought it was weird, man. Because you weren't <laughs> saying anything, you were just grabbing the football and running down the street. And I was like, this Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I have like a pretty unique sense of humor. So yeah, a lot of stuff I think funny, some people don't. Just, I, just I don't slightly know. awkward. You know, just, just a little bit. But yeah, because well, yeah, some people still comment that I'm awkward. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's just part of my personality. Just I mean, the way it is. obviously, a lot of people like it. I have almost 90,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely go. crazy. It's going to hit 100K in no time, I feel like. So. Oh, definitely. Henry's going to lose that bet. Okay, so yeah, me and Henry have this bet. If you want to tell him about it. Oh, yeah. So Henry bet him like what? Like a $500 pair of shoes that he wouldn't get 100K by, what was it, February, February 1st? February 1st, yeah. And if uh, he lost, he did the same for Cam, vice versa. Yeah, Henry. so if I hit 100K before February, February 1st that means he has to buy me a pair and I'm probably gonna end up giving it away to you guys so giveaway coming up stay yeah, tuned y'all guys gotta subscribe yeah make sure to hit that subscribe button down get below if you want to get a $500 pair of shoes mm -hmm. up to 500 I guess that was the the, the, uh, the bet yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um so yeah, but, yeah back to what you were saying uh, I think that was it for that story like you were just like stealing the ball oh, okay, on the okay. street and then, <laughs> then there was that was that okay fast nice. forward a couple years me and Cam get pretty good friends you know like living across the street how can you not be friends with the a guy that's your age. Yeah. Um, just, just doing. So what is this story? Of? Um, the next story. Yeah. Hmm. Let me think about it. Okay, I thought about it. So uh, back in the day, Cam and I used to ride the same bus. Um, we had a couple other friends there, but it was usually just like me and him, since like our friends would get their parents to take them most of the time. Uh, but anyways, I just started playing basketball that year, transitioned from baseball to basketball, and I was just getting into shoes. So I would come to the bus stop with like all kinds of high tops, low tops, like really just performance shoes, nothing like no retros or anything like that, like what he's into now. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I would just be showing up in basketball shoes, and I guess Cam thought it was pretty cool looking. <laughs> so he went, he went to, I think it was what, TJ Maxx? Or yeah. something like that? What? For the for those shoes, the roof. Oh, yeah, so no, I went to like, uh, what was it? It was like TJ Maxx or it was, Ross it was like, or something like that. Or uh, what is what's the one you work at? Oh, well, I work at Rack Room right now. I'm also in the shoe business, just not the, <laughs> the same business that yeah. comes in. It was some like 
off-brand store pretty much yeah. and I bought these shoes called rib kicks. They're I thought they were kicks. so cool. They're like these high top sneakers. Oh, I, man. Yeah, I and got so so <laughs> I guess it just wasn't it back in the day. Eighth grade, eighth grade Cam was getting the the, the, the business from a lot of the buddies at the bus stop. So fun fact, I was actually the guy that got Cameron into his first pair of Jordans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he would come to the bus stop, I guess, like, look at the little shoes I was wearing, and I just got into basketball that year, so I would just, mm -hmm. like, make my way into, like, buying Jordans and uh, other performance shoes, like LeBron's and all that stuff. Not what it's into now, but, you know, kind of the same stuff. Um, and anyways, my, my prized possession out of my entire collection back then, <laughs> eighth grade Kyle, you know, broke as heck. You know, yep. still broke, but, um, yeah. Oh yeah, because now he's in college, bro. Yeah, still really, really broke. But, um, yeah, my prized possession was this ugly pair of flight 23s mm. it's like white gray and black you know just something neutral that would go with everything i wore okay and they look like bricks man i'm telling you they, they were solid you still have them don't you yeah i, I actually i actually tried to give them the can just like a like a memento or whatever but this man didn't want any part of it <laughs> they're like, so like beat up oh my last god last time i saw i don't know how that looks now there's dirt all over them i was like yeah dude you can frame this cam's like nah bro don't, don't give me those don't give me those yeah but anyways so i just like started wearing them and like maybe like a week later cam shows up to the bus stop with the exact same <laughs> pair of shoes. Yeah. And back in the day, like... If two dudes were wearing the same shoes, it was not cool. Oh, yeah. man. I'll was... tell you guys, too, like, how I got them. So, I went home on the internet, did a little researching on the eBay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I looked up Jordans, and because, obviously, we were in eighth grade, I didn't have any money either. So, I did from price low to high. So, I was trying to find the cheapest pair of Jordans that I could buy. And it was this ugly pair of Flight 23s. Jeez, They're even more ugly, uglier than his because they didn't have the at least like the black and yeah, so it was just the white black. And gray. And it was just white and gray. They were so ugly. Same model though. And it wasn't even. They were like I remember they were too small too because it was like a size seven. I didn't know what size that were because I wasn't like buying shoes like that. So yeah. The size seven pair of white and gray Flight 23 Jordans. That's what got me started. Yeah. First ever pair of Jordans. That was kind of a funny story for you guys. Definitely. Um, yeah. So yeah. Fast forward a couple years. Um. I'll tell you guys a story about how Cam first got into reselling. Yeah, so that was a couple years later, probably ninth grade, really, or something like that. Like ninth, know, tenth but... grade. Yeah. No, I'd say ninth grade, because remember, I remember track each other with some crazy shoes sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, so yeah, at, at first, Cam, like, I would be over at his house all the time since he lived right across the street. Yeah, he literally lived, like, the house across the street. So, so pretty much, I pretty much lived with Cam. <laughs> well, he lived in my place. He yeah. He wanted to. Anyways, um, so he first started reselling to, like, so like friends around the neighborhood or like mm -hmm. other people like we'd play basketball with dudes and they'd be like, oh, like what do you get your shoes? Can we be like, oh, so you you know, like that kind of stuff. I mean, right. More about that than I do. But um, I was over at his house one day and he's like, yo, do you want to go to the outlets? We had like an outlet, like Nike outlets, outlets yeah. from where we lived. Yeah. And Tiger. I was like, yeah. I was, I was still broke in, in 10th grade, you know, so I hadn't made any money or money that I could spend anyways. So I was like, yeah, cool. I'll go like look and, and you can buy stuff if you want. <laughs> Yeah. So um, we get to the outlets, and the first place Cam wants to go to is is the Nike outlets. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cool, like that that stuff is definitely expensive. Like it doesn't matter if it's discount, I still can buy stuff. Right. And um, so he gets there, and the first place he goes to is the shoes in the back. So I'm like, okay, Cam's about to buy some shoes. Okay. Right? So I, I walk yeah. back there with him, and he starts looking at like these performance shoes, like like I think they're like Kobe ADs or something. Yeah, they were like all red Co Kobe AD like NXTs or was it NXT something like that something like that yeah, yeah. red and black and like Cam, I was like okay Cam you don't really play basketball too much but I mean you look pretty dope <laughs> yeah and he's like all right here grab this column and I was like what <laughs> he's like yeah just grab yeah. grab all those boxes and I was like what are you talking about <laughs> so I guess I, I grabbed the boxes thinking he's like playing a joke or something right and he's like he gets his dad to do the same thing we all take him up to the front and he starts buying all of them, and I was like, yeah, like yeah it's probably like 20 pairs, I don't remember how many it was. So we, we, we all load them into the car, we take them back home, and Cam lists them on this place called StockX, which I which I'd never Everyone knows what StockX yeah, is. Well, I, I had them on like StockX or eBay, or, yeah, I mean, this, not eBay, uh, Goat, I meant. This is back when I knew nothing about reselling. Yeah. I was still really dumb, because then, you know. Yeah, because he was never like into reselling, he was just into like collecting, like, he had some like shoes. 2016 True Blue 3s. Something uh, like that, yeah. What else did you have? Anything else good? Mm, I think I had a pair of. I had Jordan 5s, I figured which colorway though. Um, the Jordan. Pro Stars, I think. Maybe something like that. Yeah, but anyways, go back to what you're saying. CP3s, the, the ones. Oh, yeah, the, C the CP3 ones. Just like yeah. random retro, not even retros, just random Jordans from like that I could find cheap. But, anyways, um, I used to like watch like Kick Genius on YouTube. I don't know if any of you guys know who those guys are, but I was like yeah. more of a basketball player. He was more into like the retros. Mm -hmm. um, but, anyways, 
So that was right around the time that he started like really getting into reselling. He like made like 20, 30 bucks off those Kobe A pair, yeah. Not yeah. total. No, not totally, yeah, yeah. but a pair. <laughs> um, and we actually started this Instagram. You guys can go find us now if you want. It's called. <laughs> is it still out there? Yeah. Oh, is it? What so, is it called? C.K.Kicks. And it's his and my name, like Cameron and Kyle, like the initials, <laughs> and then just Kicks. Huh. So it, I guess it was like the. the, the that the was like to five Kicks. years ago or something? Like something four, like that. four years ago, yeah. Yeah, and since I was more into performance reviews and like Kick Genius and all that on YouTube, played mm -hmm. basketball, he was more into reselling. We had like a, a joint Instagram account where our plan was for me to get like performance shoes, post performance reviews, all kinds of stuff like that. He could resell like retros. Yeah, do his never thing. got around to it though. We just posted like a couple pictures of shoes. Yeah, we didn't have the money back then, but I mean, <laughs> that would yeah. be cool. Uh, but anyways, he starts really getting more and more into it. You can tell him about that. Uh, he started like selling a lot of shoes out of your old house in South Carolina. Like you have like an entire storage room full of shoes, like stacked to the ceiling. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So. I worked at Chick-fil-A for about a year and I was just collecting like personal sneakers. I would get like all the new Jordan releases pretty much and uh, eventually I was doing pretty good. Like I told my dad I could make more money reselling than at Chick-fil-A so he didn't believe me. So then that was when I started going to the Nike outlet. I actually got inspired to resell from a YouTube video that I saw online. So it was Just Win Sneaks. That was his name. Uh, he did a YouTube video on like a sneaker reseller that he would go to like the Nike outlet and like Marshalls and buy like a hundred pairs of shoes or something crazy and resell them all on like eBay and stuff like that. So I saw that he was making a lot of money. That's when I really tried it. Like one of the first sneakers I tried to resell was the 2017 Jordan 1 Royals. I actually camped out with my dad for something crazy like five hours. That, yeah. yeah. And actually, I, surprisingly, I had very bad luck selling them. Like I tried selling them on eBay and they weren't selling. Like someone would buy it and then they'd cancel the order right after. So it didn't work out. After that is when I started working at Chick-fil-A because the reselling wasn't working out. And I was working there for a while. I hated it. Like I said, I was collecting sneakers. So then eventually I had had enough and that's when I had seen the video, I think. Actually, I don't know if it was before or after that. But anyway, so I had the personal sneaker collection and I ended up selling it all on GOAT. Uh, I sold it for like one to three thousand. I don't exactly remember how much, but that was actually my seed money to start reselling. So it was going really good. I started buying more pairs from the Nike outlet, and then eventually I graduated to buying pairs, like used pairs, from Facebook Marketplace locally. And it was just really taking off. So at that point, I, it was like, what's the point of even working at Chick Fil A? So I quit my job. It was scary, but at the same time, it was like, okay, now I really need to start making money because I'm not working at chick-fil-a anymore and it, it really started taking off from there so yeah i mean i remember i used to be like working at this uh like pool attendant job back in the day this is mm -hmm. over the summer and like i would get home from like a day of work you know in the hot sun and i'd be telling cam about it and then he'd be like oh i just sold this pair of sneakers i made like 200 dollars profit which is more than i would make <laughs> yeah. the entire week he would yeah, get 200 crazy. bucks from like one transaction i'd be like mm -hmm. Bro, like, what? <laughs> what is this? Like, right, exactly. It's just like I had like the classic like teenager jobs, like you get paid minimum wage. Mm -hmm. This man's out here making. Oh well, yeah, let's of dollars. let's rewind too. So before I was working at Chick Fil A, because I've pretty much been an entrepreneur my whole life. Uh, we could talk about a few things like how I used to make money, how we used to too, like yeah. some things that we would do. So so yeah, Cam Cam before he was into shoes, Cam was a musician. I don't know if you guys can see in the background, but he's got his drums set over yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. A couple of guitars. I know you don't do that too often, but um Yeah, I, I still play music every once in a while. I rap a little, like sometimes make beats, I play the drums, but gotcha, gotcha. a couple other things, yeah. Um but yeah, so back in the day this was like thirteen year old Cameron, he would get yeah. uh, buckets from like Home Depot or whatever and he'd get a pair of drumsticks. <laughs> right. And each bucket would have a different sound and he would take them to like really populated areas in Charleston, which is where we used to live, and he would drum on them. Yeah. And he'd have like a bucket or a guitar case out in front, and he'd pull in like 200 bucks a day just from. Yeah, playing. it was crazy. I would make like 60 dollars an hour yeah, sometimes. It was crazy. Again, a YouTube video inspired me to do that. I saw this guy bucket drumming. It had like millions of views on YouTube at the time. I remember that. You guys can still probably look it up if you look up like bucket drumming or something. It's one of the top ones. It was a, like a viral video, but yeah, there's a lot of popular ones. Out that's there. all we used to do is watch YouTube. So but yeah, man, Cam's been an <laughs> entrepreneur his, his whole life. Yeah, so he graduated from mm -hmm. like reselling those like small amounts of sneakers to like big amounts. And this is in his old house. He had two houses back in Charleston. Yeah. And um, so like, I'd say like pre quarantine, you're moving like 40 pairs every two weeks or so. I don't even know how many, but but yeah, I remember I should come over to Cam's house and he had this one room and he'd have shoes stacked from the ceiling all the way to the ground. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know he got the shoes up there, but like, I it was probably there. Like I remember it, looking, it would at like it. fall down oh, sometimes. Yeah, dude. But yeah he, he was really, really moving uh, inventory <laughs> a lot. I mean, I saw his Instagram was going crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that. Was... Yeah, before I opened the store, I had six. I built myself up to like 16, 17,000 followers on Instagram and. 
Last I checked, I think I was at like 61,000 on Something Instagram, like yeah. Now it's crazy too, I'm at almost 90,000 subscribers on YouTube, absolutely Big crazy. Things. Yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing. And yeah, back to, we never really finished it, back to how we used to make money. So, did the bucket drumming. I would also, downtown Charleston, that's where we're from, the same place, I would like play guitar and sing. I don't know if you want to talk about that too. Oh yeah, so like, I mean. Because I play guitar a little too. But. Men's out here performing Ed Sheeran, all kinds <laughs> yeah. of like, Love ballads and like you'd have the, all the moms <laughs> swooping in, throwing them some, like five bucks or whatever. Right. And again, you're pulling like 200 bucks in a day. Yeah. We also used to go like door to door, like knocking, like trying to get like car washes and yeah. like, to walk people's dogs. Wasn't very successful. Like mm -hmm. they, a lot of people turned us down when we were trying to like wash your cars or like we, were we even did like a lemonade stand oh, a couple yeah. times. That was ridiculous. We, yeah. we never made any money outside of like <laughs> either like bucket drumming, guitar, or like you reselling. Right. That was the main way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then he was, actually had a little. Job around the neighborhood. Oh man. Yeah, if you want to tell them about that. Walking this stupid little rat dog. <laughs> oh my god. Its name is Bella, right? Right, yeah. And if Hitler was a dog, it would it would be Bella. Like this thing wouldn't was actually evil. walk. <laughs> you have to pick it up and like walk it around the neighborhood. So it wasn't a walk, it was a carry around the Pretty neighborhood. Much, yeah. yeah, I just have to carry this dog everywhere. I hate I hate small dogs already, but this dog was just Yeah, ridiculous. I have two big dogs right now, they're Australian shepherds. Yeah, maybe for another video you could uh, do like a house tour, show the dogs. Yeah. Be pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, be maybe. Big. Let us know what you guys want to see in the comments. Let him know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Is that everything we wanted to talk about too? I think so. I mean, if you guys like this, we could do another like interview or sit down style video. We could talk more about yeah, it. Yeah, more about his childhood. Maybe yeah, and cool. I also wanted to show you guys too. Like a lot of people have been asking about my updated sneaker collection, so I could give you like a kind of updated room tour, get his opinion on a few things. Uh, my brother's in the background it's right there. Guys, my boy Jack. Yeah. Showing off the, the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, he actually shaved his eyebrows. Um, his friend was over visiting from South Carolina as well. And All right, so uh, he was like laying on the couch, and he was, I was like, uh, when you fall asleep, I'm going to shave your eyebrows. And he was like, uh, I'll shave yours then. And I was like, not if I shave them first. So I went, I went upstairs, took a shower, shaved them off, went back downstairs, and I was like, yo, look at my eyebrows. And he got so scared. I yeah, too, man. Look, it's pretty it's ridiculous. Pretty, pretty scary, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, because... Oh yeah, the only other thing, because we were talking about my sister cleaning shit. Oh yeah, yeah, fun fact, I was one of uh, Cam's Kick's first employees uh, back in the day. This is during quarantine actually. Yeah. Like a long time ago though. I would actually like go over to Cam's house and he'd have a bunch of shoes. And he'd be super busy and I'd actually want to hang with him. So he'd be like, yo, if you clean shoes, I'll pay you a little bit. We can get this done quicker. <laughs> yeah. And we'd actually hang out. So I would sit on the ground with the shoes, I get a toothbrush and like another sponge, and I would clean y'all's nasty shoes. Y'all gotta stop <laughs> sending beaters to my man. That's disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, that was... yeah, now I try to just buy like shoes in good condition. Thanks. And then after that, once I moved here, I have I was paying my little sister to clean shoes. I was paying her like two dollars and fifty cents a pair to clean them. Come on, I mean, that's, that's two fifty. A sh that's... No, I mean that's not bad. She's like twelve, so that's I mean family. she was making like. Close to a hundred dollars a day sometimes. Bucks. I mean, that's yeah, for a twelve-year-old. That's good, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, two fifty. Come on. For, I don't know. I think that's good because she's making like a good amount each hour. Um, Pretty solid. And then, yeah, now that the store is open, I have a couple employees. So you want to tell them about that? Everyone's roasting my man Bo. You got to show him man, some love Bo too. Bo Bear the intern. Y'all got to stop yeah. getting on the dude. He's, he's yeah, a cool he's a cool guy. dude. Yeah. Hank the Tank too. Show some love to uh, Hank the Tank. Yeah, definitely. So if you made it to this point in the video, comment down below. We love Bo Berry the intern. Yes, show him sir. some love, yeah. So, show and him Jack, love. because I'm... <laughs> yeah, he's oh. just being annoying in the background, guys. Sorry about that. You know how little brothers are. Yeah, but anyway, so now we're gonna show you guys my updated sneaker collection, get his opinion on some things. Sorry. So stay tuned for that. All right. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take a look at my personal sneaker collection. Got the little cubicles. This is what we're looking at right now. Got the drop front boxes. He said cubicles. My bad. I don't know what these are called. <laughs> I got some more stuff on the way too. Like I got some Storm Blue Union ones, uh, some Obsidian ones. So I'm always going to be adding to the collection. I'll just show you guys what I'm currently sitting at right now. It's about 20 pairs, I want to say. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Yeah. So I'll get his opinion on some of the shoes and see what he thinks. So. Yeah, fair warning. I have not looked at any of this stuff in a long time. You know, this is back like 2016 when I had my knowledge of the shoe game. Yeah. I know a couple of these shoes, but not all of them. But uh, I'll, I'll give you my reactions on, uh, on the ones that I do know. Okay. Um, but anyways, you want me to pull some out? And, and yeah, it's it? not very organized right now. I need to get some more drop front boxes. So it, oh, wait, you could start at the top. Start so, like, top. random stuff like that. Right. So I guess we got some Black Cat 6s here, right? Okay. So, uh, I do know that these have, uh, what's it called? That shiny stuff? Uh, 3M. 3M, yeah. So, on, on camera, these things look crazy. I do remember, you, I think you got these when I was back in South Carolina, right? 
Yeah, so I'll tell a little story about that. So this was actually the last Jordan release in December 2016. It released like December 31st or something like that. It was pretty special because my dad got it for me as a gift. So that's the story on this pair. But then you got your, what are these, Katie Nines? Something, something like that. Dude, I remember back in the day, whenever me and Cam would go hoop at, uh, at our local courts. Yeah, always, that was my basketball shoe. You always put these on, so. You know. <laughs> I, I still play basketball in those. There's actually a court down the street I used to play at. Now it's kind of cold, but. N nice little bit of nostalgia from those. Yeah. Um, what else? You got some infrared six lows here, is that right? Yep, that was actually a Christmas present, uh, December 2017, there so. There you go, these are pretty sick. I would definitely wear these. As you can see too, I, I haven't worn them in a while because I mainly just wear Jordan 1s, like as far as Jordans. It's not too yellow, not too Yeah, bright. bottoms are really icy, that's what I was trying to show you guys. Pretty solid. I take pretty good care of my shoes. So. Alright, um, let's see what else I see, anything. Striking. Just got a beat pair of in... Vans right there. I don't really need to show those. Yeah, just your beaters. Some uh, Gucci slides. Okay, flex on them a little bit, flex on them a little bit. <laughs> These are pretty beat up. I don't even think I have the box anymore, and then a pair of purple NMDs, nothing crazy right there. Gotcha. Um, got some shattered backboard ones. Yeah, this is a fire shoe. One of my favorite God, Jordan ones of all time. Just, just butter. This is ridiculous. I've been wanting to pair these for so long. I'll let the camera hold it for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they go for like crazy amounts now, so. Yeah, definitely more than my poor college <laughs> behind can pay for, but. Yeah, yeah pretty so nice shoe. shoe. I don't really like orange, but on these, I, I mess with the orange. Okay. It's so dope. Yeah. Um, you know the ones above it? Do you know what those are called? The green pair? Um, take a look at don't roast him too if he doesn't know the names because he it's hasn't been. It's been a minute since I've been in the Yeah, that's what I was so. going to say. So. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. Yeah, those are just the Pine Green Jordan 1 highs. So. Jordan 1s, gotcha. These are dope too, man. I really mess the Jordan 1s. Probably my favorite Jordan of all time. Yeah, it's my favorite Jordan. I know as Henry was talking about Jordan 2s in the store yesterday, and I was like, Shout out Henry the Tankry. <laughs> but not his love of Jordan 2s. Those things are ugly, man. You got some yeah. off white ones, right? Oh, yep. Off white yeah. UNCs. This is one of my favorite pairs so too. so sick, bro. Can Show the nice other side. Yes, sir. Really clean. Yeah. So dope, man. I really like the nice orange pair of shoes. and the blue highlights. These are sick. Definitely. Another pair of shoes I will never be able to afford. <laughs> but, um, you never know, man. If you say uh, never, then you never will. That's good. Then you got some regular UNCs. Ones, yep, right? that's the 2015. So this is just the regular pair. Shit. This pair is also dope. Dude, you don't really wear these too much, do you? Not really, no. I, I like the off-whites better. And, and then a lot of people were clowning me because I was... Wearing the UNC one lows every day, but that's oh. you can show those too. Right here, right? Yeah, one of my favorite pairs of shoes. So a lot of people like they prefer the highs. Me, I actually kind of prefer the lows. So yeah, don't roast me on that too. But I'm more of a low or a high a high top guy myself. But these are pretty sick. It's pretty well, yeah. obvious you like the UNC colorway. Too. Yeah, exactly. Because I have the lows, I have the highs, and, and then I also whites. have the off whites. Yeah. Sorry if the camera works kind of bad too. I don't have a tripod. Like one that I can hold at least for the camera, so it might be a little shaky, but. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, these are the bread ones, right? Bread toes. Bread toes, okay, yeah. that's close. That's this actually my favorite slip. pair of Jordan 1s. I really? wear those all the time. Oh, oh shoot, what is that? <laughs> oh shoot, did I step on a. Is that uh, bird poop? No, I don't know what that is. Oh god, hey, well, uh, don't roast part. me, guys. But these are sick. You know, yeah. Like, like I said, I like Jordan 1s the best, so like. I love the red in them too, yeah. Jeez, oh, this, this is one of my. Favorite, well, I guess I shouldn't say collections I've ever seen, but all these shoes are so dope to me. Yeah. Um, we got some Asics over here. These are pretty dope. Yeah, that's actually the Sean Witherspoon Asics. He did a collab. Uh, Sean Witherspoon did a collab with Asics. So you say both shoes are different. So I guess. Yeah, it's almost like, like a Nike what the but that's what I was they're thinking. Asics. I saw yeah. those LeBron Elevens in your store the other day, and I was like, <laughs> Yo, those are pretty sick. Yeah. These are dope. They look really comfortable too, like inside. Yeah, I don't wear them that much, but they're definitely a unique shoe. Pretty solid. And then since you just showed that pair. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time, the Nike Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon. This one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. These are so sick. Are they both the same? Yeah, they're both the same. I'll just leave that one in yeah, there. Yeah, just show yeah. one shoe. This is so sick. Look at that. My pair is in pretty good condition, too. I just love the materials. The corduroy is like so buttery. Looks yeah, really nice. He's had these for a long time, guys. I remember him wearing this for. Well, no, I've actually had a lot of personal pairs, but ended up selling them. So oh, gotcha. okay. that's a different one that I got after I moved here. But gotcha. All right, what else we got? show the Travis Scott ones. <laughs> yeah, again, no knowledge of sneakers in here, but anyways. Oh, geez. got the backwards oh, nice. swoosh in case anyone didn't know. I'm My sure everyone. God. knows I wish you guys are, could feel this leather. This is ridiculous. It's that's way. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. You got the Cactus Jack right there. Yeah, got the Cactus Jack logo on the back. These are so sick. Yeah, I love those. Man. 
I need some Jordan ones, even though they're cheap there. <laughs> yeah. Those are the Yin Yangs. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but yeah, you used to have those. Yeah. Now those actually go for a lot, like brand new. I think they're like four or five hundred or something oh, crazy. Come on. Yeah, a lot of shoes went crazy up in value. So got cement fours. I do remember these. these yeah, so I actually got those for Christmas in 2017 too. That's my favorite Jordan Four of all time. One of my favorite sneakers too. Same here, dude. Yeah, such a clean shoe. Just like the Nike Air on the back. Here, hold it. Uh, it's not food. I saw some Toro Fours coming your store a couple of days ago too. Those are pretty sick. Yeah, the yeah. Toro Bravos. Those go for a ton too. These are so sick, dude. Definitely, man. Straight heat. Straight heat. Here, what do you got here? These off white Air Maxes. Yep, off white Air Max 90s. Oh, I got the off white Air Max 97s coming in too. So I, like I get a lot of my shoes from Goat. That's where they're coming from. But these, what were you saying about those? These are so sick. I, yeah, I like the, the the tag right here, bro. The zip tie, yeah. So sick, dude. Definitely, man. Off whites have always been super dope to me. Yeah. So crazy, bro. Got some Yeezys. You want me to pull the Yeezys, bro? Yeah, I got the V1s. I'm not really a V2 guy because they made so many colorways. Like, got the 2015 Original Pirate Black Adidas Yeezy 350 V1s. Yes, sir. Pretty clean. Not too worn. I remember these were crazy back in school, like 2016. Yeah, because they released around, like, when we got into sneakers, so. Yeah, so. These were always super hype for us. Yeah. Anything else? Um, just got some uh, white Gucci slides. I wear these at home like every day. These, these are the black Gucci slides. Yeah. Oh, turbo green Air Jordan One highs. These are sick. This is green. It looks like yeah. blue. It's like teal. Oh, gotcha, man. <laughs> SP19 Air Jordan. What's that mean? I don't know. I think yeah. it just says says that on there. I don't know gotcha. why they added that. So oh, you got a sticker on the back. <laughs> I got you, bro. We got two stickers on the back. <laughs> I got you, dude. Why are you taking the stuff out of my? Uh, worn sneakers. Does this not make it? Is this not dead stock anymore? Should I put it back? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, and then that pair right there. The um, those are the Chicago Jordan One Lows. I really like the Lows, like I was saying. These go for a crazy amount too. I think like eight hundred dollars, brand new. Oh, that leather is so nice too. Jeez, yeah. Man. This pair is from like uh -oh. I forget the year. I think two thousand sixteen. Uh oh. What happened? Just a little dust on them. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, bro. And then, yeah, the white Gucci slides, too, right there. You don't really need to show those. Yeah, I got you. You should the black, man. Yeah. Man, nice I think that's everything person. in my current collection right now. Like I said, I have a few pairs on the way. Now I'll show you guys some stuff I have in my closet. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, you want me to start? Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to start right here because Cam said this is just, like, like non-hype stuff, I guess. So, I guess first thing we got, ooh, nice little Supreme zip-up. Okay. Tell us about this a little bit. What do you think of that? Uh, it's pretty raw. I mean, this usually isn't my kind of style, but I mean, this is a, a, a dope, a dope hoodie. Like zip ups aren't my thing, but yeah, it's still pretty sick. Well, I like zip ups cause, because I get hot pretty easily, so you could like take it off. Take it off real quick. Easier. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, too. And then I'm gonna show you up here. Look out. My bad. So this is all like my shorts and pants and stuff. I'm not gonna take every pair down. I got my jeans over there. Got to stick with the fear of God essentials. I got a few of those shorts. Some. Some babe. Yeah, some bape. All down here. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But then he'll show you all like the shirts and sweatshirts I have, and we'll get his opinion on Put them. This back. What we got? We got here. Ooh, another Supreme zip up. Purple. That one's pretty nice. Purple. My mom said she would wear that one, so I don't know if that's a compliment or what. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't no. know, man. You like it? I think it's it's pretty dope. I like the hood, dude. That, that little patch the of red, red in nice. there. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty sick. Again, man. Zip up's not my thing, but I'll probably definitely wear that. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I didn't put that back right. Man, you guys so messing much up my closet. In here. So much clothes in here, bro. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Got another another Supreme hoodie. This is this is something I would definitely wear, bro. This is sick. That's the Supreme Motion logo hoodie. Got you. That was pretty nice, yeah. 2020. Oh, you got this recently? Yeah, this released in 2020, so it has a little 2020 on the back. Got you. That's pretty sick, man. Dang. <laughs> Whoops! I think the, the hanger just cracked, but we'll ignore that. This man's breaking my hangers out here. Bro, you got too much clothes in your closet, bro. I know it Dude. doesn't fit. I need a bigger closet. This what is that one? Too. Okay, we got the Supreme Cross uh, box logo hoodie. Got you, bro. You really like purple, man. Yeah, you big on purple. Ah, uh, kind of. I like purple, yeah. You and Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, you guys didn't know my man Cam is a believer over here. Ah, uh, I don't know right? about that one, but. <laughs> Same hoodie, different. Yep, another Cross? Supreme Cross box logo hoodie. Gotcha. This is pretty sick. These just released not that long ago, so. Ooh, no 2020 in the hood. That's still pretty sick. Yeah. I would definitely wear that too. Okay. It's pretty sick. The only thing I haven't really messed with so far have been like the, the purple zip up. 
aside from that, everything's been dope. Oh all my right. god, all these hoodies, dude. I know, they're pretty tightly crammed in there, so. What is this? Stone, Stone Island Supreme. Yo, that's sick. Where's Stone Island? You know where that is? Uh, don't roast me, but I don't. Uh, we got the little Stone Island patch on the sleeve. What do you think of that? That's pretty solid, man. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Here's my phone. I was going to look at where Stone Island is, but I don't have my phone, so. Oh. I don't know. That is pretty sick. Where'd you get this? StockX. I got a lot of my clothing from StockX, so. Got you, bro. Oh, it's got buttons? Uh, yeah. yeah. Buttons on the pocket. It's pretty high tech. <laughs> Dang. All right. Put this back. These are all clean, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Why? I'm about to say, man. I was just making sure I don't want really to touch your dirty clothes. No. All right. This Another Stone, Stone Island one. Yeah. Also show the patch on the sleeve. Wait, wait. Other sleeve. Oh, shoot. If you guys can't tell, I'm super knowledgeable about Supreme <laughs> Supreme pieces. Yeah. It's pretty sad. I love the patches that they put on it. Dude, these hangers, man. Yeah, I know. I got to upgrade my hangers, too, guys. Don't roast me. <laughs> hangers and a closet, bro. Supreme pullover? Crew neck. Crew neck? Yeah, you call it a pullover. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? I thought it was called a pullover. I call it a crew neck, but I mean... Maybe that's like a Texas thing, I don't know. Yeah. That's pretty sick though. I would definitely wear that too. I think that's called like the Futura logo or something like that. I don't know like, uh, what, uh, I can't talk. I don't know what a lot of them are called, but I just like them because I like how they look. So don't roast me if I don't know the names too. I keep saying don't roast me, but some people in the comments, they like to roast people if you know what I mean. Bro, I got to talk about you people in the comments, man. You guys <laughs> are saying some crazy stuff sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> the Supreme, it kind of looks like a, like a boxing logo type thing. No, it's just like a ash gray supreme crew neck. I don't know the name, but just another another pullover. Pullover. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got? Ooh, this is sick. Oh yeah, that's the Supreme Fox Racing crew neck. Yeah, that that's one's pretty, pretty nice. Solid. It's got I a like bunch that. of patches on it. The back is my favorite too. That one looked really good when I was wearing it on camera because you could see my back and that's what you could see. Sorry, what were you saying? I don't know. I just like this a lot, dude. There's a lot of detail in it. The stitching is hella nice. Yeah. Excuse my language, my bad. Uh, how well that's in the bed, right? Okay, good. I just want to make sure. No, you're good. That's so sick. Yeah, right. pretty nice. Dang. This camera is so heavy, too. I'm used to recording on my, on my like little GoPros. This camera weighs, like, how much do you think, Kyle? Like uh, 10 pounds or probably something? Probably like seven, eight pounds. Yeah. Something like my that. My hand's kind of hurting, but. Which doesn't oh well. seem like a lot but when you're holding it up for so long. Yeah. What is this? That's a Supreme, uh, what is it? Is it Yoshi Yamamoto? I don't know if I'm saying it right. That looks right. Yeah. You know who that is? I don't. I just, I, he's like a designer or something. I think I've heard the name before. I just it's bought it because it's Supreme. <laughs> Bro, I'm surprised you're able to read that guy. That was like, it was like Well, because I've heard the name before. I think that's what how you pronounce it. I could be wrong, but. Pretty sick. I would definitely wear that too. Yeah. Another purple piece. You and your purple, man. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Got a broken camera. Oh, no, that's already Dang. broken. Okay, I gotcha. Just, yeah, put it back how it was when you are <laughs> Just, yeah, that's uh, just a vape crew neck, yeah. Pull just says a bathing ape on it. Actually, nothing on the back. Nah. Actually, nothing too crazy. I like it. Bape's keeping it simple out here. Yeah. Well, some of the other bape ones I have are kind of crazy, too. I got some uh, bape shorts on right now. Show them. Where's the, uh, oh, I'm trying to find the logo. There's like a, oh, here it is. Well, yeah, shout out Bape. <laughs> Another Bape hoodie. Okay. YGM. Bape crew neck. WGM yeah. on the front. Yeah, Bape it's uh, World Eddie. Gone Mad. That's what it stands for. That's pretty sick. That's like they're saying, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty dope, dude. Bape's always had some cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. I'm not like, some people wear like those full on Bape zip up hoodies. I'm not really a big fan of those. Yep. I keep it more simple with the crew neck. But... Those were crazy back when we were like 12, man. Yeah. They would come to school, like full hoodie on. Zip well, I, up. Most of them were fake, so. Yeah. Another day hoodie. I got all my stuff from StockX, so. WGM. Yeah. Not hoodie, I keep saying hoodies. Crew neck, yeah. Crew neck, my bad. I think this one's the same style as well. Uh, which one? Kind of random string, this, this next purple one. Uh, that one's slightly different. That one's more, like, updated. Oh, gotcha. There's no WGM on the back. Yeah. What does the back the have on it? Oh, just sleeve. Nothing, yeah. The sleeves. sleeves. A bathing ape, and then the, the logo. It's on both sides. Yeah. Pretty nice. It's pretty sick. 
You can tell I like the purple. <laughs> yeah, big, big oh yeah, I got purple. the core purple Jordan 1s coming in too, so I'll probably wear those with a lot of stuff yeah, like now that. You, now you got something to match your hoodies. Right, yeah. Another purple pullover? <laughs> this one's a pullover. He keeps calling it a pullover, guys. That's what it's called, man. I call it a crew neck. I mean, I don't know. Bro, put in the comments which one you say. It's definitely, definitely pullover. No one says that. Pullover gang. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. This no. one's not purple. This one's like uh, purple. Pink. Pink. Right, okay, it's, it's purple. It's purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another supreme pullover. <laughs> this is pretty sick, man. I'm not a big purple guy though, so. Yeah. This one doesn't get the cost of approval. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I'll never be able to afford any of this. <laughs> supreme. Oh, this is sick, dude. Yeah, I was wearing that one the other day. Oh, yeah. Good. Desert camo supreme hoodie. Oh, you actually got God. the name. That that is, is called it really desert, desert camo. camo? Yeah, it Bro, is. That was a complete guess. <laughs> but even still, I man, I watched too many like army movies. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? I should put it back there. Right there. And then this one, uh, this one's a little bit more rare. Okay. I think this is the fall winter 2015. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's when this released. Uh, this is a camo box logo. It's pulled it off hard. the hanger. He's trying to show you guys. My it. bad. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Pretty That's nice. Pretty sick, dude. The quality on this one's really nice. Yeah. I like that. That one goes for a bit more, but how much? How much are these worth usually? That one right there is, I think, around five hundred bucks. I could be Holy wrong, but crap, dude. yeah, a lot of that's not as expensive. I mean, it's still expensive, but. Just got a Supreme shirt. Yeah, Supreme box logo. That's like the new long sleeves they came out with. That's the black one. I have most of the colors. I think I just don't have the navy because the navy is pretty similar to the black. So. Gotcha. So yeah, now we're going on to my tees. I think you got through all my hoodies and uh, crew necks and stuff. But took me a minute. You got it. Too. All right, here too. I'm not gonna take this one off the hanger. We got the Fear of God Essentials hoodie right there, got and then the we little, got the little 3M tag. Yeah, this one's 3M sleeve. Pretty cool. Can you say is there anything on the back? Nah. You don't need to take it off. No, you can just leave it there. Okay. And then I also got a vintage Patriots. Um, what kind of jacket is that? Um, it's not a windbreaker. That's too thick for a windbreaker. No, it's pretty thick. I don't know. It's, it's called a winter jacket, I guess. Yeah. I think it's thick. I think it's from like the early, uh, the late 90s or something like that, but yeah. Hit that one. Oh, this looks sick. Yeah. Just a pretty simple Supreme tee. Black with, I don't know what that logo is called, I forget, but. Pretty sick. Yeah. Bro, who's that one guy who was in your videos? He came in and flexed his hoodie like for like two minutes in front of your camera. It was the Broken Hearts or whatever? Or? I don't know. I remember, dude. Oh, yeah. Everyone was commenting about him. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He was just someone selling He's me some like shoes. like standing like this. Yeah. Like, with his hoodie. Yeah. Some people come in trying to flex their clothes, like show their back to the camera, like fake velo. And like some people come in with like fake stuff too, but I'm not trying to like throw shade at anyone. I'm just Bro, saying a couple people. Video but... content, man. <laughs> What's this? That's the Supreme Fruit Tea. I've had that one for a little while. Doesn't go. Oh, for that's much. sick. The little the little tags on the fruit. Oh, this is funny too. So show the back. Every time I wear this shirt, someone says I have a sticker on my shirt. Oh yeah. There's a little uh, sticker right there. Let that looks zoom sick. In on that. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if like the GR Smith or like the 4139 has any meaning. You know about that? I don't know what yeah. that is. Gotcha. I bet like shoes is more your thing. So you're not as interested in. Like, yeah, I don't know much about clothes. That's why I don't sell clothes. I just sell sneakers, but. I have started buying some personal stuff. I like wearing it at least. Or maybe when you expand, you can get someone on like that and you can have like a clothing section in your store. Yeah, maybe. This is the Supreme Nas T. This one's a pretty nice one. It's been out for a little so while. Sick, yeah, that Nas one's fire about too. 200 bucks. Jeez. <laughs> Phew. Oh, I'll put this right back here. Gotta be careful because Cam's pretty, uh, pretty finicky about where his shirt's going. <laughs> Same with his shoes, man. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's another Supreme uh, long sleeve box logo tee. The that's back? the white one. Nothing on the back, yeah. Just pretty simple tee. Pretty soft. Uh oh. Got some stains up top, bro. Yeah. I can't wear white, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. That was probably like some honey mustard from Chick fil A or whatever. Probably. They're not honey mustard, <laughs> Chick fil A, -A sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah. Bad. I f forgot about that. <laughs> oh. Another graphic. Uh, yeah. I don't know what this one's called. It's another photo tee. Sorry guys, I don't know the names of a lot of them. Like That's I said, I just sick. wear them. So it's got a saxophone. To, yeah. Then you got a signature on the back. Pretty cool. I don't know what that says. Me either, bro. But this guy can play a, a mean saxophone. <laughs> All right, we'll just start back here. I already showed that one yet. Right. Then the next one is 
Ah, I forget the name of that too, sorry. But just another simple white supreme tea. It's pretty solid, bro. You can't read that? Uh, no. I don't know what language that is. <laughs> it says supreme above it. That's why I got it, so. Gotcha. That one I got pretty cheap on, like, Grailed or something a long time a ago. A beast can? A hype beast? You a hype beast? Uh, no, I mean, I just buy what I like, but I have hype stuff, I guess, so. I mean, I guess if you... I mean, it's not really a bad thing, necessarily, but... No. <laughs> now, I got a couple cause teas. I got a white one. It's like Blue Elmo. Yeah. Is Elmo blue? Uh, Elmo's red. Oh, okay. Cookie Monster's blue. But it... Oh, it's okay. kind of a cartoon like them. Have you heard of cause? Say it again? Have you heard of cause? K-A-W-S. I don't think so. It's another like streetwear brand. Um, I think it's more like art stuff. They have like sculptures and stuff too. It's kind of weird. Oh, actually I have heard of these guys. Cause, yeah. yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Hmm. It's like if Elmo and Cookie Monster had a baby. Yeah, those teas actually went up a lot in value too. I think they're worth like around a hundred bucks now. Jeez. I got a pink one too. That's the next one he's about to show you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> This man is messing up all my stuff. Bro, there's so many clothes in there. Nah, I know. That's another one, yeah. Pretty simple. Oh, this one's pink. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like these shirts. I would wear everything so far except for the for, for the purple because I just don't. He doesn't like the purple uh, hoodie like purple. over there, yeah. Everything else is so sick, especially <laughs> the camo ones. Those are dope. Uh, I like this one a lot, the Stone Cold. The Stone Island? Stone Island, my bad. Did you say Stone, Stone Cold? Cold. <laughs> Stone Cold it? Stunner. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Is it Stone Cold uh, Stunner? Something like that, too. I don't, uh, I don't know. Then I got a couple uh, bandana box logos. These it's are not, sick, too. Uh, focus in. Hold on. Okay. There we go, yeah. Got you. Got the brown one. It's pretty yeah. nice. Dude, all the quality of these is ridiculous, too. Like, yeah. You can tell it's, 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 it's pretty high brand stuff. <laughs> then this one, actually, I really like. I can wear it with my shattered backboards. We got the orange Supreme long sleeve box logo tee. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Pretty simple, but I like it. Definitely gotta have something to wear with those shattered backboards. Right. Orange is hard to match. Yeah. I mean, they have black in them. You could always just wear like a black or white tee, but. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Supreme Ladybug tee. I don't really like the color of this one. I haven't really worn it, but. It's really bright. I don't think you have any, sh you have any shoes that go with that? <laughs> Not really. Nah. Maybe the Sean Witherspoons. Eh. Maybe. I don't know. I got that one a long time ago. I, I think I paid like 20 bucks used, so I mean. That's pretty solid. Yeah. That's like a regular t shirt. Right, yeah. I mean, some Supreme Tees don't go for that much, so hmm. just depends. Another, uh, bo uh, I can't talk. Another bandana box logo tee. This one's red. I don't think I've worn this one yet. Dang. Cam's got some dead stock t-shirts. <laughs> well, a lot of them I haven't got to wear because it's so cold out now, but. Did I show this one already? Or was it a black? No, so I, I had a gray one too. This is the red Supreme uh, Nas tee. This one's really sick. This is probably my favorite shirt out of everyone. Yeah, I like it. Because so it has the classic white box logo that he's wearing in the picture, so. That one's brand new too. I don't know if I already said that, but. That was, is it both Supreme? Oh, you got. Got two, yeah. I got the motion logo tee. I had the same one of the hoodie, and then I also got another uh, long sleeve box logo tee. I really like the green too. Green's one of my favorite colors. So you guys know I had to get the pine green Jordan ones. Got those right there. And yeah, we're almost done with this. I got how many more things in there? Two. Two more shirts, both yep. purple. The same thing on this one too. So I got the purple motion logo, and then I also got the purple long sleeve box logo tee. So which one do you like better, the motion logo or the box logo? I like the box logo better because yeah. you can read the Supreme better. So it's classic, man. Yes, sir. All right, that looks like everything, man. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much it. Anything else you want to add? I don't know, man. I just, all this. So you want to say up. like? Um, yeah, I, I mess with everything but the purple stuff. Like, <laughs> so sick. How much money do you think it is like just in? I probably, should, probably shouldn't answer that, right? Actually, uh, I, don't know I, I mean, I don't care. Like, how much do you think it is just from from this jacket over? How much would you estimate? Ah, uh, well, I don't know, cause I bought a lot of shorts and stuff too. I have some more stuff coming in too. So, total, I don't know, anywhere from like fifteen, twenty thousand. Dang. Yeah, maybe maybe ten to twenty thousand. I don't I don't remember how much. So if but. you sold your closet, you could pretty much buy a car with this. Like probably, yeah. Dang, that's I cool. can't drive too. I don't know if you guys know, but I don't have my license. So. Bro, y'all gotta pressure this man to get his license. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. You gotta get that stuff. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I know it's a different type of video, but comment down below if you like it. And also, if you notice a quality increase, please make sure to comment down below on that as well. Because I'm filming on the Canon D90, like I said. Yes sir, got that, got that new camera in. I don't know if you guys can see it in the mirror very well, but got yeah. the new Rode mic. Big old lens, but yeah. 
big upgrade in quality from his recent videos. I would say so myself, but definitely. And yeah, so, so since it's so heavy, it's kind of hard to transport. So my arm's shaking while I'm holding this right now. So like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta hit the gym. Yeah. So at my Brooklyn pop-up shop in New York, that's in a couple days. I'm just going to be filming on my GoPro Hero 9. And then hopefully when I'm back at the store on Monday, I'm going to start using this camera. So let me know what you guys think again. And that's going to do it for this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and share. And if you're not already subscribed, what should they do? Oh, uh, they should subscribe to Cam's Kicks on YouTube. Yeah, you should like smash that subscribe button down below. You could like break it if you want, like break your phone, like hit the subscribe button so hard. Like let me know if any of you guys had to go to the Apple store to repair your phone. Put that in the comments. <laughs> yeah. And uh, please make sure to also uh, follow me on Instagram at camskicks.sc. That's right, camskicks.sc. Yeah, thank you guys and have a great night. Uh, yeah, editor, cut this out, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you gotta cut that shit. Right. Yeah, cut this out too, sorry. Alright, so. Yeah, so the next story is. Uh, Alright, no. no <laughs> just, start, just start with where you were. Uh, uh, editor too, if there's any like funny outtakes, put, you could put these at the end or something, but I guess just cut all these out, sorry. Do not put me saying Flight 21's in this, I will kill you. I had these, uh, this, this pair of Flight 21's. Flight 20, Flight 23's. Threes, yeah, something like that. And your family. It's not no, a joke. that's. that's He's joking. He... <laughs> no, stop. 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 Okay. Go back to Anyways. Anyways. All right. So now he's going to tell you how I... Or, <laughs> stop. Stop. All right. So he just told you how... Uh, stop. Stop. All right. So... Uh, cut this out, editor. Cut this out, too, please. Cut, cut all this out. <laughs> cut this out, too. <laughs> Sorry, I keep messing up. Cut this out too. Sorry, I keep messing up. Cut this out, please. <laughs>